approach to measuring success. Fortune magazine is shining a light on the top names driving the business world of tomorrow. Where is the growth? We want to know. Fortune is debuting its Future 50 list today, covering the most innovative companies primed for explosive growth. Fox Business has the exclusive first look at the list. Coming in at number five on Fortune's Future 50 leaders, medical robotics leader Intuitive Surgical. Fourth is the king of the stream, Netflix. Number three on this list, Mark Zuckerberg's dorm project turned social media titan, Facebook. Elon Musk's electric automaker, Tesla, cruising into the second spot. And topping the list is cloud computing giant, Salesforce. Joining us right now in a Fox Business exclusive, Fortune Deputy Editor Brian O'Keefe. Brian, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Well, a lot of those names obviously very familiar and, and growth stories that we all know. How did you come up with this list? What are the growth metrics that you used? So we worked with Boston Consulting Group, BCG. Uh, they were our partners in doing this. They did an incredible amount of number crunching and they looked at 15 years of financial data and they, they uh, screened for all 2,300 U.S. public companies and they really looked at a couple of things one is the market potential of all these companies what the market is betting how much growth the market is is betting and assigning their value and then they also dove into the companies themselves and looked at people structure uh, their technology and investments they used artificial intelligence natural language processing to look at 70,000 10 K's and look at the way those companies talked about themselves if they talked about future and investment and long-term thinking, and they they did a lot of back testing mm. and looked at what correlated with real growth over time. And it's interesting that Salesforce is the number one in, in the number one spot. Were you surprised by that, Mike? I, I was for sure because you know when you think about growth, you hear the fangs. You know, you hear about Facebook, which is there, but um, Amazon, Netflix, which is there, Google. So. The way this is set, I think this is going to create a lot of controversy from people who are saying, you know, like, well, here's the big Apple we don't see there. Um, yeah. Not you know, in the top Apple, five. Didn't, Apple didn't make the list, actually. Yeah. Apple didn't things. make the list. Apple did not make the list in part to its recent increased emphasis on paying dividends on over reinvestment. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing, I mean, Apple is the big exception, right? That's, you know, we noted that. Uh, and, and, you know, Apple is obviously still an incredible performer, but they are piling up cash. They're paying out dividends under pressure, some pressure. Uh, to shareholders, and that's not really a formula for future growth. You know, you, you, you want to see a company, uh, not that Apple's not doing well, but you want to see it putting it into new technology. Salesforce, to your point, you know, they are, Mark Benioff keeps that company really uh, focused on the future. They're investing in artificial intelligence. And they're they're making acquisitions on. And, and I think the important thing about Salesforce, if you look at it, is it didn't surprise me one bit about this because he's actually uh, struck deals and partnerships with other companies like IBM to uh, have a stronger, better. Uh, uh, platform for his customers, right? Mm -hmm. So for insurance companies, if there's a hailstorm, they're going to use IBM's Watson to notify uh, all the policyholders. So he, he's done a very good job, especially on the acquisition side. So if they if they had a hole in their business model, he went out and bought them. To look at the list overall, though, you know, a lot of people say that past performance is the best indication of future success, and that's really not the way that you created this list, right? Yeah, I mean, that's really kind of the whole reason we did create this list, is that past performance isn't the indicator it's of future not. success. Mm -hmm. And in today environment things are changing so much faster technology is speeding up the pace of change that we felt like and BCG felt like we need a better metric to do that so that you know most of the time you're measuring a company on you're trying to project the future on what they've been doing recently and this is like really that's why it's diving into sort of the DNA of these companies and how they operate how they talk and how they think and trying to do that in a scientific way and uh, you know it's looking at the structure of the company I mean the, the hard reality is that younger companies tend to grow faster I mean not just smaller companies right. but tightly managed Younger companies. And, and founder companies, right? And founder companies a lot yeah. of the time, yeah. You 